here is a little bit about it targeting coinbase metamask uh to token pocket and i'm um, token wallets in particular hello 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 my name is mark Gennard jr if you're new here i do cyber related videos there is some cloning and stealing of crypto going on we got to talk about it let's get right into it we're going dark all right so researchers have disclosed a large-scale campaign dubbed Seaflower using the clone apps of cryptocurrency wallets such as MetaMask, Coinbase, AmToken, and Token uh, Token Pocket Services. The Seaflower uh, operation. So here is a little bit about it. Researchers from Confiant identified the campaign in March and tracked the activity as Seaflower. Further, the activity is described as a technically sophisticated threat targeting Web3 users. The malicious cryptocurrency apps are the same as real ones. However, these fake apps come with a backdoor that can steal users' security phrases for accessing digital assets. Researchers disclosed that the attackers had planted backdoor code in these apps. The backdoor code steals seed phrases and sends them to domains mimicking the legitimate vendors. The attackers seem to be Chinese according to hints such as the language of the comments in the source code, frameworks, infrastructure location, and used services. So here are some of the propagation techniques. As per reports, the primary channel for distribution is search services. It is surmised that hackers are also promoting it via social media, forums, and malvertising. Moreover, the Trojanized apps spread via fake websites on crypto wallets and black uh, SEO and SEO poisoning techniques. The search results from the Badoo engine are the most impacted by the Seaflower operation. On iOS, the sites abuse provisioning profiles to sideload the malicious apps to bypass security protections. While it is still unclear who is responsible for mounting what appears to be this very slick malware campaign, Confiant estimated that it is likely a Chinese cyber criminal group since, since since much of the data connected to the malware is in chinese and it contains chinese and hong kong based ip addresses indeed this trojanized malware activity <clears throat> was called Seaflower because by following the path of one of the injected files, researchers found the Mac OS username Zhang Haik, which in turn led to many Chinese speaking references, including a character in a Chinese novel called uh, Tibetan Seaflower. Seaflower campaigns have been identified as going as far back as March 2022. So, the research indicated that currently Seaflower is mainly focused on modifying Web3 wallets with the backdoor code that ultimately exfiltrates the seed phrase, targeting Coinbase, MetaMask, uh, to Token Pocket, and I'm Token Wallets in particular. Although the Confiant blog also noted that all of those wallets can be used safely, but like any other good or very popular software, they are exposed to modding, uh, reverse engineering, and backdoors. James McKagan, a uh, security awareness advocate at Novi4, pointed out that going after the money is the number one target for cyber criminals. And the more sophisticated groups are uh, consistently innovating, finding new ways to target cryptocurrency like doppelganger web pages. Cyber criminals are creating copies and making the wallet appear legitimate when they've designed them to steal credentials and access information, McKagan added. Since crypto wallets are not federally protected, if a cyber criminal gains access to someone's crypto wallet or account, they can quickly move the funds to their accounts. Hence, applications should only be downloaded from reputable online stores like the Apple App Store or Google Play Store to reduce the risk of installing malicious applications designed to steal from the user mckagan advice so what to do to stay protected against such threats cryptocurrency users should always download wallet apps from trusted sources ios users should not install provisioning profiles without checking the legitimacy of the request because these profiles allow installations of any app on mac os or ios Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button right below the video and subscribe by clicking the big red button right below the video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably enjoy these videos that's on the screen right now. So if you click on the screen right now, you can watch those. Do you have a cybersecurity uh, attack news story that you want me to cover? Write it in the comment section below, right? So also click the notification bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications when I upload new videos. Lastly, please feel free to watch other videos on this channel. You don't know how to subscribe? I'm looking right at you. I have a suit. Uh, my background is white i'm smiling click on me stay safe hack pack please feel free to watch like and comment other videos on this channel subscribe now